What's going on? Welcome back to more FC25 Ultimate RG content. And today we're going to be taking on the champs playoffs with a brand new team. Well, I'm going to be making yeah, a fair amount of changes. Some big SBCs are coming up and even more very soon. Let's go. Stop right there. If you don't have time to play the game for hours upon hours like me for free, but you still want some of the best cards and coins, head over to MMOEXP.com and use the code Fuji at checkout to get 5% off your next order. Links in the description. Check them out. I've got some important things to say. First of all, score battle games. I left these until the last minute, stupidly. So after having played my full weekly speed run, I had this to contend with, but I managed to make it happen. Elite one achieved. So that's going to be playing out in the background for you guys to enjoy. But I did want to mention the Max 90 Icon Gamble SBC. Are we doing it? No. And I know some of you be like, yo, Fuge, what's happened to you? Like you used to always gamble your stuff away. And that is simply it. Like over the years, I'm starting to realize that it's simply not worth it. And it's not fun when you've built up your coin total and for the total for the last like month and a half to lose it instantly on a Zanetti or pack a player that doesn't really suit your system formation because of the lack of roles and play styles. I just don't see that being a calculated risk because the fodder is so hard to come by. Whereas last year, it was easier to recoup all that stuff that you would send in but the return was basically the same. Well, the pack weight hasn't changed this year and it's just harder to complete. So for me personally, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to wait until there's a player SBC that I really want, which is most likely the Vinicius Junior play of the month or some other players that are going to be coming up. But I'm not going to say that I don't want to gamble my stuff away. It's just got to be worth it. And that's why those Road to Knockout Trailblazer and Road to the uh, Final like packs are going to be yeah really efficient. They're cheap, but the potential of getting some cool cards is there. But I've completed Lamar for today's team. Uh, long play, I don't think I'm going to use, but Lamar, I used to love this guy so, so much. So he's in, and let's go and take a gamble. I'm skipping the icon, boys, so this one has to pay out. A calculated gamble right here. It's a trailblazer as well. This could be real, real nice. Trailblazer center back. Who's this? Is that Gabriel? Oh, he's got aerial plus. That's probably the first W pool that I've had in forever. I think he was quite good. Ariel plus Gabriel. Hmm, all right, I'll bring him in today. I'll have to switch up the whole team though. So this is gonna be the team that we take into the champs playoffs. But one thing that shocked me was Hamshik. 747 games already and we're only two months in. He may be the most used player ever in ultimate team on a single account. Like it's getting that way. And then that prime origin boost that he received. Oof, I cannot wait. But the team does look nice. And Gabriel, sweet pull. So we're going to see how he plays alongside Varane. Chabi Alonso has come out as an on this day icon. A little bit pricey though. 450,000, but at least we've got his loan to test out. The Lamar on the left-hand side, I think he'd be good in that playmaker role. Joe Carr I've used once before and he seems very nice on the ball. And there are Charleston for 10 wins in champs. You might want to be working towards that if you haven't already played your games. So let's go and test this out. Champs playoffs. And see how it gets on. First game in the Champs playoffs when we're against Van der Sar. He's a good purchase, though. He's definitely going to go up. You should see, though, what EA are planning to release over the course of the Thunderstruck promo. We're basically getting, like, icon swaps back. Like, it's similar to icon swaps with all the tokens available from, like, squad... Oh, damn. Squad battles, like, foot champions, division rivals. It's going to be really, really fun to grind, for real. I'm not even exaggerating. Gabriel was one of the best aerial, like, battlers there was when I had used him... What was I saying? I'm telling you, this guy is so good. What keeping? Do you know who will be coming to the RTG very soon, boys? Or well, not very soon. I don't know if it's like officially leaked leaked, but I'm hearing there's a Cruyff coming. An on this day icon Cruyff. And if he gets dropped, it's a must do for me. I'd rather do him over a Vinicius Junior played an arm for the chemistry and just everything about the card. Right, I've got to get it done. Through. Finish. Ooh, unlucky. Get that through. He's pressing start again. This guy, he's trying to waste time, I think. But he's a man down. So I don't know what he's a, what he's doing. If I could have kept that run, though. Oh, that was nice. Ebanias. I didn't love him, though. I just unlocked him to have, like, for the future chemistry to Neymar. But he ain't all that. I'll be real. Chabi Alonso. I, I think he's got, like, nice left. Has he got nice left stick or a little bit RB dribbling? Yeah, he doesn't feel, like, too sluggish, too slow. But I don't know if he's going to be better than Suzuko like in this position because all I need is someone to be a powerhouse to track back because my team is rather attacking. So I don't need another one coming up. No way. Big header. The oh, what the nah? What a header from Malin. Jesus Christ! My team is up for it today. Nice, Theo Hernandez. The one thing that's really impressive though with Theo Hernandez is that he hasn't really moved on the market. 
He's still about 300,000 coins, which is seriously impressive. He's been that for a long time. What a turn from Richarlson, by the way. Terrible shot, though. I think he moved the goalkeeper slightly. So bad. Oh, no. Terrible defending. Malin, don't do it to me, Malin. Near post. Nah, Van der Sar, the best goalkeeper. If you have wing back and then winger, you're basically overloading like one side. It's really, really good. It's similar to like the 4-3-2-1 last year. When you just have a little bit of an overload and then the opponent doesn't really know what to do. It's hard to pick up. Oh, that turn was sweet. What a goal. Rafinha can't get dropped. No way. I really don't mind using this Joe Cole. I would be down to trying out the newer version of him just to see like if it is that much of an upgrading game. Because I don't believe like too much of stats anymore. It's really the roles. If they have crazy roles, then I'm interested in play styles. But stats are just a bit of a lie. They have been like over the years and even more so now. Like that Robbie Keane's got what, 84 shot and one of the best finishes, like legit. So it is silly. Travella, Travella. Oh, Mike, don't do that. Come on, Joe. We're going to have Cruyff in the cam position very, very soon. So Joe Cole, you won't be needed. But you're decent. We like you. Oh, Richardson. Well done, man. Yeah, he's actually leading the line really well. Doesn't feel like too unplayable on the ball. Virgil Gabriel, there he is. And we've got Fabio Stryker. Yeah, I was looking at his card. Chabi Alonso. Oh, that's a good weight. Finesse. Terrible. Does he have base finesse? Probably not. But that was a good weight of a pass. Oh, mistake from you, sir. Lamar, Lamar. Oh, crazy. Oh, my. No, that was really good RB dribbling, though. This is why you need winger on one of your players, just so you can stay wide and, like, ping the ball. Otherwise, you're too central, too narrow. Does he get that through? Oh, that's a save. Bowie, you've done well. You've actually done really well. He was offside, but still, I had to get that in. We do need to improve in the defense eventually, just to bring in a little bit more pace. I feel like with these tactics and a high depth, I'm getting caught a little bit. Even though there is a bit more like catch-up speed on FC25, I want to be bringing in some pace. But yeah, R Richarlson does seem more good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, Bon Matty. There's no need for that. Regular Bon Matty bullying my defense. As easy as that. And then give it Rafinha. Joe Cole, good movement. Ah, I should have slid that home. He's there again. It's Lamar. He's loving this playmaker role. He doesn't even have it. Like, playmaker plus plus. We need to get Richardson inside the box and then just dump a ball into him and see if we can get use out of... Oh, God damn. Richal that's not even Richardson. Sorry. Hey, Richardson, that's Rafinha. I'm not sure about Kula. But Mbappe, Ruta, whatever his name is, he's going to be carrying. Oh, this guy is in at least Division 3. Oh, that's a glitch. Oh, Bowie. Oh, nah, that was... Oh, come on. And that's unfortunate because Bowie should have more aggression and strength there. That's a shame. That's what's cost us. And the tackle was a little bit cheesy, though, as well with Gabriel. I don't think that's a penalty. But it was what happened... Watch out. Gabriel going to get smoked. Easy goal. GG. Now, nah, fair play. GG. Oh, great tackle. Can I get a through ball there? Richardson. Ooh, nice shot. Fair enough. I need, like, I actually needed that bad to get back into this. Got to make sure I pick out the right pass here. Bowie. Oh, he's brought over too many players. I think that might cost him. That might cost him. How has he gone and scored that one before and then misses that? And head it over here. Oh, Lamar. Good. That's good battling. Through. Oh, this could be nice. Am I going to be able to get a pass out? Yes, that's perfectly timed. Richarlson. I needed to hit that earlier like I did the other one. No. Too many passes. I needed to just bang that. That's a wonderful tackle, though. And then the extra pass. Move the goalkeeper. No, I've, I've messed up two, twice in a row. This should have been dead and buried. Oh, another mistake. Can I check, take that down? Joe Cole. Nah, pull him back. Oh, it's a goal. And there it is. Three chances we had. And two of them I messed up. Especially two of them. That last game was good. It was end to end. But a lack of composure just ruined us. And that's what cost me. All you got to do is take your time a little bit more and wait for the goalkeeper to move, then shoot. I really have got like a problem. I don't, instead of just shooting a lot of the time, I just want to play an extra pass. I want to walk it in the back of the net. And like this game especially is more like just hit a Travella outside the box or a power shot anyway. 
but I don't know. I've always played like that. And a good goal to start this game. Well done. Joe Cole. So much space. His team just opened up too much. And it's... Well, I think he's going to leave already, yep. Yeah. To rank two in the playoffs, because I haven't really been getting much lately from these. I'll take an 85 Mares. That will sell. Maybe Fodder's on the rise as well because of the icon. So we'll get rid of those engines. What's the chance this gives us an 84? Don't. Just don't. Don't. <laughs> That's why you got to get rank one just to get like an 86. Like bare minimum. Oh, no. That is bad though. Oh, man. That is like worst case scenario. Just quickly, I want to give you a transfer update because Loudrop we used this weekend. Incredible card, very good goal return and assist. 200,000 coins, we take that. And then all this stuff came from the squad out of rewards that I've sold. 2.6 million, we're pushing 2.7, right? If you're going to round it up, we're getting coins. And I still have Van der Sar and Theo Hernandez. Like we have money on the account, but there are some big SBCs going to be coming. So the must-do icon SBC is not Chabi Alonso. It's Johan Cruyff. He has officially been announced and he's coming out. I don't know if it's going to be on Friday, Saturday or what, but I am fully sending for Johan Cruyff. And I was expected to go and complete the Play of the Month Vinny, but I can't turn this card down. Even if he's 1.5 million and his stats look a little bit average compared to the Prime version, it's Johan Cruyff. And this is where people get mistaken. Like they just expect because he has low stats, he's not going to play one in game. You've got to consider he's an icon. He's got his Johan Cruyff body type. It's just going to be a good card. If Robbie Keane has been one of the best SBCs dropped on the game with like 84 shot, Johan's going to be just an absolute must do for me. So I will send all my fodder. And I'm so pleased that I skipped out on that max 90 icon SBC. And that's what I wanted to express to you guys. Just try and save and then get yourself a really fun player. Like, that Johan's going to be better than any of the cards that you would have packed, really. Let's be realistic from the icon. But let me speak about the actual cards that we use today. So, Chabi Alonso, in the five matches, I thought defensively he was good enough. He has this nice initial, like, touch and boost away to open up the areas and, and the field for easy passes. And even though he doesn't have the ping pass or incisive, I thought he was laying down, yeah, these passes with good power and pace. So, all in all, I don't mind Chabi Alonso. He's just a bit expensive for, like, 450, unless you're just a fan of him or you want to do your past and present teams. I, I personally would stay clear for, for myself on this RTG. But if I had him in my team and I had to use him, why not? He's got long ball plus. It's a decent play style. Like, I don't mind him, but he's definitely not going to be someone that I unlock on this account. Uh, Gabriel, mm, he's, he's nice, but I don't think he's better than even like regular Virgil van Dijk, which is such a shame because you go and get one of these brand new cards and he doesn't feel as good. So it's just like a downgrade to my team, but it's a nice untradeable option that we've got there. Lamar, I did enjoy. Even with the lack of uh, play styles or roles for this position specifically, like I'm playing playmaker on my left center mid, I thought it was good. He was getting into those areas. He's just nice on the ball. A little bit weak in the midfield, but for what he's worth, and he gives you the long glare as well. It's cool. I like it. Uh, Joe, Go uh, Joe Cole's mental. He's so, so nice on the ball, and I really do have some enjoyment with him, so I'm glad I packed him. And then Richarlson, uh, to be fair to him, he made it work. Like, he's fast. He's got a good twist and turn on the ball, and his finishing was pretty nice. Like, I don't think he's unplayable at all. So, yeah, he's, he's a good card if you can get him unlocked. But with all the content coming, like, I thought I was going to stay clear of squad battles, um, and not play that because of the rewards that I received at the start of today's episode. But because they're going to be dropping like those tokens for this brand new promo, uh, Black Friday, I'm going to have to play like every single game mode anyway to collect and yeah, get some nice unlocks. But at least they're bringing the content. So thank you, EA. It's taking you until, well, what, two months of the game cycle to really, you know, provide some stuff for the community. But I'm looking forward to it and it is going to be very, very fun. But thank you, boys. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care and enjoy the rest of your evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. Good night. Peace.